Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to read Excel file in Java NetBeans. In our previous tutorial, we have read uh, Excel file, but that was only reading .xls or .xlsx uh, extensions file. Now today we will write a generic program which will read both the file formats. So first we will go to File new project java application and click next and now here we will create uh, our name the project is uh, um, reading xls and xl xlsx files in Java and now click next to create the project now the project is created now we are going to add the libraries as well so I'll come here to this project reading Excel and to its library folder I'll right click on this library folder and click add jars now here we need this uh, common collection dot jar and uh, this uh, PI uh, PIO XML PIO XML schema and uh, this XML bean and now I'll click open to add this library is into our project now if I expand this you can see the libraries here now the next thing we will do is uh, uh, start writing code so the first thing we will use is a uh, uh, file uh, or use workbook equals null semicolon and now I'll import the workbook now it is not uh, showing us any import so let's refresh the project or run one time it so that it is able to load the now if I click on this now it is not uh, getting it now the problem is uh, I haven't given it a name here so I'll use WB and now if I import it you can see that we can import it now now the next thing I will do is uh, uh, to create a file uh, input stream fins is equal to new uh, file input stream and now here I will use new file and now inside this I will provide the path of the file now we will have to import all these uh, first I will import file then uh, file uh, input stream and uh, now I have to add the throws clause so file not bound and now you can see it is added here now I have to provide here semicolon and as well as the path of the file so the path of the file I can go to this uh, folder and I have it in this new folder now this is this first is our file so I'll go to this and copy this I'll go here paste it here two backslashes and then first dot xlsx now you can go and copy the file name as well and the next thing we will do is we will create a workbook factory so wb equals work book factory dot and we will use uh, create and this input stream so here I will use if I miss and now I'll put semicolon and uh, now I'll add the throws clause
And now again, another throws clause. And now the error is gone. I'll go down. And uh, the next thing we will do is get the sheet from the workbook sheet. Sheet equals wb dot get sheet at zero and now I'll put semicolon here and now I'll go here and import. Now the next thing we will do is uh, use formula evaluator formula Well, and now here I will import, and this will equals um, uh, wb dot uh, create not create dot git control space uh, creation helper this one dot create evaluator and now uh, the next thing we will do is use for loop so for row n sheet do what and I'll put uh, another curly brace here and now uh, I'll uh, import this row now inside this uh, for loop I will use system dot out dot print Allen and now here I will print nothing it will create a new line for us for every new row now the next thing we will do is a uh, for loop and cell uh, cell and row so for each cell and row and now I'll use curly braces here and now I'll import this uh, this uh, cell and now here I'll use switch statement switch formula control space evil dot uh, evaluate, evaluate and cell dot git um, cell type enum enter and now I'll use curly braces and now enter to create it now I'll use cases inside this uh, switch statement so the case first case will be if it is numeric and here I will use brick And if I the case is uh, a string, and then I will use uh, break semicolon. Now here we will print the numeric cells. So uh, the values of numeric cells. So I'll use system dot out dot print and uh, here we will use a uh, cell dot control space git uh, numeric cell value and uh, here I will use uh, plus and backslash t backslash t and now I'll put semicolon at the end so this is done now for this one I'll do the same system that out dot print and here I will pass in this cell dot get string value plus 
double quotes um, backslash t and backslash t and now I'll put semicolon now the code is complete so let's run it and check it if it is uh, now you can see that uh, the file is uh, first dot xlsx now if I run this application and if we can check the result now you can see that it is reading the first dot xls uh, file and it has printed it in the console you can see the result and now I'll go and uh, now we will read the second dot xls file I'll uh, remove this uh, last x you can see that these two files are available here this in this new folder first.xls and second.xlsx and uh, second.xls so now we are reading the second.xls now if I run this and now you can see that uh, we can uh, read uh, with the same program as the dot .xls ext extension as well so that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. And please don't forget to like this video so that it can reach more viewership. And the code will be available in the comments or in the description. And the uh, link for these um, JAR files will, uh, will also be available in the description. Thank you.